So today we're gonna ask a few people about their New Year's resolutions. Mm, let's take a look if find some people. Ah, it looks good. Hey guys, so do you have any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions? Oh yeah, I have a one little New Year's resolution. I wanna get a skinny, you see. I've been going to the gym for the past year and honestly you haven't been helping me bulk up. So I'm just gonna get skinnier now. Okay. Oh, that's a tough one. I tried it this year, so I wanna try it next year again, but I would like to stop smoking. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Yes, I do. Okay, and what is your New Year's resolution? End all of my pain and suffering. So you're basically talking about killing yourself? Yes, I'm going to buy a gun and shoot myself. 2020 part 4 hasn't even properly started yet and I'm already pissed off. Now it's not because of the earthquake at the start of the year in Japan. It's also not because of that one dude that tried out for the WWE in court, which was pretty base to be fair. And it's definitely not because of the Epstein list. But I mean, who in their right mind thought that someone like Stephen Hawking would be on that list? Makes you wonder how he actually got to that island. Oh. Well, at least I hope he's gotten a disability discount. The real reason why I look like Patrick on a roller coaster is because of a certain breed of subhumans that spew out the same bullshit every damn year. All they can ever do is lie to their family, friends, and worst of them all, themselves. You guys already know what kind of subhuman I'm talking about. Blind people that still make New Year's resolutions. <laughs> New Year's resolutions! New Year, new me, baby! Woo! I can't wait for all the positive changes in my life that'll just happen now to nowhere without me doing a damn thing. Now, I've gotta be honest, the sheer amount of people that wanna change their miserable lives at the start of a year already makes me sick. Sure, I get it. Resolutions are a great tool for stupid people that wanna feel better about themselves for a moment. But most people that forge their New Year's resolutions fabricate more blank statements than Twitch's artistic nudity section. See, that's pretty funny because these streamers aren't wearing any fabric. This time I really start losing some weight and hit the gym. Unlike the past eight years that I've been telling that to myself and never did go through with it. I'm finally going to play all the games in my Steam library that I've bought in every Steam sale to date because I'm incapable of saving money or make good financial choices. Sound familiar? Let's take a moment to appreciate the art of self-delusion that is happening in your brain as we speak. Not much going on in here. Huh. It's unrealistic to create New Year's resolution that just say that you're going to do this or that without any example or specifics. You wouldn't just wake up one morning and say, oh boy, I want to bomb the White House without crafting a solid plan first. You'd end up as successful as the Bay of Pigs invasion, or the Decemberist revolt in Russia, or the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. <laughs> I think you're getting the idea. <laughs> when you make resolutions, you have to make clear points of what you want to achieve. Do you want to hit the gym once a year? Are you aiming to lose a pound a week or per month? Is it your goal to cut out soda entirely or just reduce it to a weekly treat? Is it your lifelong goal for women to lose their right to vote entirely or just for the important things in life? Wait, what? Doing something like this would need an incredible amount of prep and careful planning. Wanting to quit something and maintain this absence immediately makes it harder than driving a semi-truck into a crowd of people. Wait, what the fuck is wrong with me today? Holy shit! But why? Why do we do this to ourselves? If there is something in your life that needs to change and you identify that it has to change, then why not change it now? Well, uh, it's because I don't have much time, you know? I don't even have time for my friends anymore. Dude, what friends? You know, some of you guys are the reason why I want bullying to make a return. It's like we're all competing in a race to see who can break their resolutions first. We all know that most New Year's resolutions fail because most people that make them are lazy and create excuses instead of starting with them right away. Sometimes they even get distracted by something so insignificant and worthless that you wonder why it exists in the first place. Oh fuck, not again. These weird people with their blue helmets are lining up in front of my house again. We hear these things every time a calendar flips to a new year. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to start that. Please, just shut the fuck up. You know, sometimes when I'm on the internet, I just get the urge of buying a 10 foot rope tied around my neck and jump off the next highest building in my area just so that I don't have to read all of this bullshit that you guys are posting online. The internet was a fucking mistake. Well, say ya, this year I really want to lose some weight and learn something new every day. Brother, the only thing you'll learn is the fucking entirety of the Taco Bell menu. Nobody believes you when you say that you want to lose weight, especially not if you've tried for multiple years and failed every time. J just, just go and commit some war crimes instead. Oh, say ya, you're right, I should start a podcast. I said a war crime, not a crime against humanity. Look, instead of settling for lackluster goals, you should set some realistic resolutions for this year. Have an open mind like JFK and let me, Mr. Saya the Resolute Jim, give you some of the best realistic New Year's resolutions that you could easily uphold in 2024. This year you could find a girlfriend. Wait, I was talking about realistic resolutions. You could only eat junk food maybe once a week. 
You could reduce your smoking by only smoking one pack a week and gradually work it down. You could not send pipe bombs to YouTubers and streamers that you don't like. And you can definitely not hide self-made bombs that are crafted with the utmost precision at busy streets at a city center where a lot of traffic would yield a lot of casualties. You see, it's all about setting those realistic resolutions, and I'm sure that you'll be able to achieve these in 2024. Hopefully. Look, all I'm trying to say is that if you want to make a big change in your life, then start right away. Don't wait for a new year to come in times to become busier than ever before. Also, don't tell anyone. Do it for yourself and keep track of what you want to see how far you have come towards your own goal. We only have this one life and plenty of hardships that could happen to any of us this year. Try making the best out of it. Cherish your friends and family as much as you can and improve yourself every day. Remember, real change comes from within at any moment you choose, not just when the calendar flips. Or you could just give up because nobody cares about you and probably never will.